Hey guys, David here with Jim and I BIM. I want to share a quick tip with you about dependent views and a easy way to apply dependent views uh, to other views within uh, Revit without the need of uh, uh, using Dymo or third-party add-in. I, I see a lot of people, uh, they don't use this function and they uh, waste a lot of time messing with view references and the view tags and, and other items. So in this example I have a, a very basic floor plan and I have a match line and then I have the view reference tags applied respectively and then I have those uh, views on sheets and the view reference tags work as expected. Um, and the issue is that you need to start to duplicate additional uh, floor plans and also have the um, parent and dependent relationship. So I see a lot of people where they go up here and they duplicate the view. Uh, you know, you'll rename it something and then you'll just duplicate it again duplicate as a dependent and then go like that not that that way is uh, wrong but you're using a, uh, you're wasting a lot of time that doesn't need to be uh, spent doing that many uh, clicks and, and keystrokes um, so Without using Dynamo or a uh, third-party um, application, the fastest way that I found to be able to do this and maintain consistency and have all the view reference tags uh, correct is that whenever you duplicate the view, whether it's with uh, duplicate or duplicate with uh, detailing, I duplicate with detailing and if you duplicate with detailing you need to delete the view reference tags because these are associated wrong um, and then you spend just much time if I duplicate this plan uh, view you know several times I'm, I'm wasting a lot of effort to to mess with the view reference tags so go ahead and delete those uh, view reference tags and that basically lets me apply the dependent views and have the view reference tags uh, be applied as well and then associated correctly so if I go to the original view that I want to replicate and I right click apply dependent views and then here we'll come up with a list of all the views that you can apply the dependent views to in this case I only have one view available then if I hit OK you'll notice I now have the drop down and I have the uh, dependents now by default they are named dependent one and dependent two but I was able to get the view reference tags and the crop of the views automatically and if I go to the parent view there you can see that the view reference tags were copied over and they were referenced correctly and this could save a ton of time now of course you will have to still rename the pennant views appropriately and um, if you had a scope box applied you would have though it crops correctly you would still have to apply the appropriate scope box for each dependent view uh, in another video I'll show you how I somewhat automate the process with uh, Dynamo where I apply the dependent views in Revit and then I use Dynamo to rename the dependent views and apply the appropriate scope box but just that simple trick right there will save you hours of um, duplicating views and messing with the view reference tags and then also your final presentation will look look much cleaner and more professional because all your uh, view reference tags will be identically placed so if you guys like that quick tip and um, enjoy the video and you learned something please uh, don't hesitate to uh, smash the like button and uh, give me a follow thanks guys